What's up everybody? Hey, it's Charles from HumbleMechanic.com. I am answering Sam's question about technician training. Now this is a great question to answer right now because I'm actually in the car on the way to training myself, so I thought I would talk a little bit about it. Uh, also, I am in stop and go, so I won't be able to read the question word for word, but Sam had a really good question about how to get extra training beyond the dealership training. And this is something I've actually really fought with a lot in my career. Our closest training center is about a six to six and a half hour drive away, uh, either Atlanta or just south of Baltimore both kind of suck to drive to, and it's not really feasible to fly to either one. What that means is that most of the guys in our shop generally only go to training once a year or so. Now, in order to become a VW Master Tech, which is the goal I think of a lot of VW Techs or really any, you know, any Techs, uh, there's, oh, I don't know, 25 or so classes and the problem is, is that that changes all the time. They change it every year. So if you were to only be able to go once a year, you know, it'd take you probably 40 years to get all that training under your belt. These are instructor-led classes, obviously, that we have to drive to. Um, so Sam's a bit frustrated with his shop and not being able to get more training, and he wants to become a master tech and... Uh, get more training well there's nothing you're going to be able to do about the training from vw right that that is what it is um i wish they did a lot of things differently but they don't care how i feel about it so they're going to do their own thing but what we can do to get other training outside the dealership is actually a really interesting question and i think the best thing we can do is look to the aftermarket for this so there are companies that teach classes, right? There are seminars online. Uh, Tech Shop Magazine, as you guys know, they, they post some of my articles. Uh, actually, they take some of my videos and post them as articles. They, uh, they do webinars and talk about several varying diagnostic strategies and whatnot. So there's companies that do webinars, which is great because you can just jump online when they're online and, and do these webinars. In fact, down the road, there may even be a webinar or two that I do with them. There's also companies that put put together hands-on training. Uh, SSF in California and San Francisco, they, they do technician training. You actually go to a community college. The instructor prints a, you know, an entire booklet and you get the booklet, you get half a day of instructor-led training in a classroom and then the other half of the day is spent in the shop, learning about the cars, doing ex experiments. <laughs> um, Diagnosing bugs, doing experiments, Charles, what are you thinking? Uh, diagnosing bugs and, uh, and problems with cars in, in, in the shop. There's other companies that do things like that too. Uh, SSF is one that I've done a few things with, so that's the one at the, at the forefront of my brain. And then I think from there, where we go is we go to the companies that make the stuff, right? If we're looking for something about fuel systems diagnosis or engine management diagnosis if you're a Volkswagen tech or really a lot of other uh, brands techs um, it would make sense to try and get some of this information from a company like Bosch if we have questions about suspension or alignments we turn to someone like Hunter or uh, TRW or Moog or some you know any of the other suspension companies and we go to them directly and we go to them directly because we get the root information that's not bogged in or uh, interjected with manufacturer information too. Bosch fuel management may be different between you know one company and another, but the structure, the root structure is gonna be very similar and we can learn from that. If we understand it at the root, we can break that out and understand how it applies to our brand and we can then tailor what we pay attention to in that training to our brand. And I think that's really overlooked a lot by the manufacturers being car manufacturers where, you know, we're basically told we get our training from VW or Audi or Ford or Chevy or whatever, and we don't tend to look outside the direct manufacturer training. So I think going to the makers of the product is probably the 
best overall thing when you get outside of manufacturer training because there's only so much you're going to be able to do it can be incredibly frustrating to try and rely 100 percent on your brand to get all of your information now i will say that from vw anyway and I can only assume or guess that other manufacturers are the same. There's a lot more information and a lot more training out there than just what you would learn sitting in a classroom. There's so much online training in the VW world that a lot of people, I think, overlook or, you know, we have our monthly, they're called Tech Talks, and it's a 45-minute video about varying topics. Personally, I think it's mind-numbingly boring and Rarely do I have time to sit and watch a 45 minute video, then answer 10 questions to get credit for it. I really think they would do way better eliminating that completely and doing short segments like they do too, but there is a lot of online training from most brands that if you're a dealer tech, you, you have access to. So don't, don't overlook that, Sam, or anybody else. Just pay attention, pay really close attention to what else is available. So search in your area see if there's other companies that do online training if you are a volkswagen technician and there's a porsche class available and you can get into it take the porsche class take the bmw class take the mercedes class european cars are very very similar uh very similar and if you can pull five good topics from a mercedes class that you can then restructured to apply to Volkswagens, the class was worth the money. Don't be also, don't be afraid to pay for your own training. You're never going to be a master tech from a manufacturer going to online uh, instructor led training once a year, but boy, you could be a pretty damn good technician learning about these systems and drawing from other, um, other classes. And even if you had to pay for it, if you had to pay 300 bucks to go to a diagnostic class, that's gonna save you time in diagnosing cars, or you can pick up four or five different tips or tricks from either other students in the class or an instructor. Guys, that's a win, man. You're gonna you're gonna make that 300 bucks back in a month, two months, three months. One really effed up ticket that that you know you would have otherwise spent like four days on. Um, that 300 bucks pays for itself. So think about it like buying a really good tool. It's going to be worth the money. The Snap-on Man can never repossess it. You know, it's never going to break. It's never going to wear out. It's one more tool in your your brain toolbox that you can have to uh, to draw from and experience you can draw from. So look outside the VW training world or the Audi training world or whoever you're going to. Look for aftermarket parts companies to offer training, whether it's online or instructor-led. Go go to parts distributors. That's what SSF is, they're a parts distributor. And see what kind of training they have available. Maybe you're local. They do a lot of their stuff in San Francisco and LA. So um, if you're local there, that's a big win for you guys. And, and look outside the dealer space because you'll probably find there's a lot of information. I know Bosch puts out a ton of information and so much engine management is Bosch engine management and you can you can really learn a lot again it may not be specific to your brand but you will understand the root structure of how it's managed and that will help you with what's going on so Sam man great question good luck to you guys remember if you have a question put email me charles at humblemechanic.com put question for Charles in the subject ask the question right at the top enter button Give me the details, that way I can just get to the point of your question and then fill in the details. So again, you guys got me riding in the car. I'm on my way. As a matter of fact, it works out double funny that I'm on my way to Hunter, uh, the Hunter training facility to learn about radar alignments, uh, adaptive cruise control alignments, basically alignments for cars with driver assist. And it worked out really cool because I'm in a Passat, a 16 Passat that has adaptive cruise control. I haven't made up my mind yet whether I love it or hate it. It is, uh, interesting and I don't fully trust it yet. So, all right guys, hey, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.